Snoky neighbors. <laughs> so come on in. It's time for another episode with your best friends. I got the flavor. Think we should dive right in. We'll spit facts by gold plaques and high level competition. Look back on old footage, maybe see what we missing. Kick back and train hard is the way that we live in. Talk smack and stay humble, having fun on a mission. Big top pressure is the reason why you submitting. Yes, sir. Steady pushing forward, no setbacks. Just a couple low belts soon to turn black. And if you hating, better stop that. Cause it's the, the Nogi Neighbors Podcast. White belt. wonderful he's been doing jujitsu for a year and some change a year and some change he still hasn't gotten better yet but no. that's okay no <laughs> that's okay it's no, nothing still really bad dude but he can shred a guitar true yeah and your mom's sheets for sure <laughs> been there been in hers yeah dude um so i got a question so come on all right so all right <laughs> Uh, I just want to I just I just want to know what brought you to jiu-jitsu. I moved to Decatur, yeah. and I googled gyms in my area. Yeah. And Tenth Planet popped up on my phone, and I didn't know what jiu-jitsu was. Mm-hmm. And I sent Lindsay an email at two thirty in the morning, while I was at work, and she replied in less than ten minutes. Really. And that was I got off that Thursday morning at five, and I was there for the evening class, and then I just kept coming back. What brought you to Decatur? Work. I've been working in Decatur for like two and a half years, and I've been wanting to move up here, and I did. And it kind of sucks, but like it's kind of the best. Mm. Decatur's underrated. Decatur yeah. where it's greater. Hey, the ah. dirty D. <laughs> the dirty D. <laughs> let, let me, let me uh, while we're talking about your work. Sure, sure. So I've had people, people around me, some people that are in the sport, some people sure. that are not, people are, that, are, that know me have made the claim the only way to get good at jiu-jitsu is to be bummy and to not work because they know people they're like man the only way to get good is to have a good support system you can't hold up hold down a full-time job which i'll i'll throw this back at them uh john thor blank in 10th planet made it to fourth at adcc working 40 hours a week as an electrician as a as a working man that that we all know you to be putting in 85, 90 hours a week. That's probably why I'm bad. Oh, is because I no. do work full time. No, dude. But I will say jujitsu got me back in school. It got so you I, back in school. So, so, you're, so you're, balancing, you're balancing school, work, and jujitsu? Full time work, full time school, online, and training. What time, what time you got to be out of here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just whenever. I, don't, I took Monday and Tuesday off. I go back in on Friday, so I'm chill. Okay, I got you. But yeah. I was working full time, teaching part time when I started training. What were you teaching? Calhoun. What? What you were teaching at Calhoun? Yeah. What were you? What were you, you were teaching, teaching Calhoun? Calhoun? Yeah. So the whole thing. The, <laughs> when I, so I was teaching in the program I graduated from without an education degree. They called uh, me and was like, "Hey, would you want to teach?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> and they were like, "Oh, please." And I was like, "Damn, y'all are down." <laughs> oh, terrible please. so there I was like okay I'll do it and they're like okay we need a drug test a background check and you need to take this test today so I drove to Decatur before work I was working nights that night took the test peed in a cup and they were like okay yeah you're going to start in two weeks so I taught three semesters at Calhoun and wow. I was going to keep doing it you only had to pee in one cup? yeah they only made me pee in one cup that's pretty good and I was pretty I took like an education exam. I'm pretty sure I failed it, and they didn't care. They were just like, "Yeah, come, please teach." Yeah, and and you just did for a while. Yeah, dude. The this is and this is not a, this is not a lie. The very first day of teaching, I walk in, to the room. There's like, and this is like a tech school program, so these are older people. I walk in by elderly people. To me, yes. Okay. <laughs> They're like forty, <laughs> so <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But there was only one girl in my class, and she doesn't watch this, so it's fine. She boot cut jeans, 
beer gut dip. Man, and I hope she's watching. This. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. And Dude, you better be careful. She'll be in your house. <laughs> you when you're on the night. So I walk in and I'm in shorts because uh, again, it's I didn't care. And she looks at me and goes, "I know you're not the fucking teacher." Mm. And I said, "Oof, yeah, that's me." And she goes, with those bird-ass legs. <laughs> <laughs> on the, on the first, first interaction as a teacher ever. And I was like, very cool. Same girl. Also, true, true story. I'm drawing something on the whiteboard. And I was like, anybody got any funny stories? Like, not thinking anyone would speak. It's just been quiet for too long. But now, now what, what subject were you teaching? Instrumentation. Process instrumentation. Like, flow meters, pH probes. Uh, that kind of stuff. This all sounds fake. Somebody out there is going to know what he's talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For all (laughs) all my, like, I and E boys, I got you. But, like, I don't even work in that field either. I'm in operations. But I was really good at that class. And the guy who hired me was one of my teachers and was like, yeah, just come teach. Wow. But I've drawn this thing, and she was like, I was like, anybody got any funny stories? Same girl, uh, bird-ass legs girl, was like... (laughs) Bird-ass legs girl. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. She was... Also, side shorter side story. One time, she spit her dip in the floor, <laughs> and was like, "Oh, my bad." <laughs> so, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, it's all good." And then she left it there for a second. I was like, "Oh, I mean, like it's like no one's mad. Like we still have to clean that up." Yeah, yeah. Anyway, but she did. Well, did she clean <laughs> she, it up? She, she did. She would. But if no wow. one would have been like, "Hey, can we please get the dip spit out of the floor?" She would have just walked over it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But I'm drawing something on the board, and I was like, anybody got any funny stories? What kind of grades did this girl make? Bad. Real <laughs> bad. Uh, <laughs> what if they were amazing? <laughs> well, I didn't, I never figured out how to enter grades online. <laughs> oh, post, no. I, sw- I swear to God, and I never figured out how to post homework. So we never did homework, and everybody got an A. <laughs> it's wow. my kind of course. I mean, dude, it was pretty you sweet. The floor? Dude, I mean, it was a pretty sweet gig for them. I'm drawing this thing, and I was like, anybody got any funny stories? And she was like, one time at a party, I thought I took Molly and it was meth. Mm. Whoa. And I was like, cool, she took meth. Anybody else got any funny stories? <laughs> and like, she just like kept up the meth bit. And she was like, yeah, it's crazy. You can't, like, doing meth one time will really do some things to your life. And I was like, so now we're all into it. We're like, oh, what what happened? She was like, yeah, I lost my, I lost my job. I was like, whoa, like, you really got into meth. She was like, yeah, it was like a year. Dude, dude, a year. Dude, well, hey, a year. You know what? You know what? I, I'm gonna give her a little bit of applause because apparently she's not on meth anymore. She was back in school. No, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, hey, I'm with it. She, I'm she had a job. The, the same. This girl, it was kind of awesome to have her in class. She came in late one day. I was like, "Hey, sorry, I'm late, but I have good news." I'm like, okay. okay, and what's the good news? Yeah, yeah. She's like, "My baby daddy." On child support now, and we all like clap, like we were all like, "Let's go, let's go." <laughs> you took him for a ride, <laughs> yeah, dude. And I was like, "You don't mind me asking how how much is he paying?" She's like twelve hundred, and I was like, Whoa! "I was like, dude, you got his ass." And she's like, "Yeah, <laughs> it was sick." Need to get into that field, dude, for real. <laughs> That's ridiculous. For real. Yeah, if only we could, you know, we could get pregnant. <laughs> I feel like you could get child support as a man. Can you? Yeah, probably just hard. I mean, you have yeah, to. It's probably, yeah, it's probably, yeah. Like, you have, like, you have to, to find one. Go ahead, sorry. Sorry, you, you have to find one that's okay with having the baby and then not wanting to deal with it afterward. But, so you take the baby and then she has to pay you child support. You would have to get a doctor pregnant and then that doctor not want to take care of a baby and then you work, then you not work. I went the... Oh. I want the social media superstar route. She'd have to be crazy enough to to not win custody, but but Ooh. also but also be competent enough to, to make enough it. money for it to be worth it. So I was thinking like you know maybe like uh, catch me outside girl or something. Oh yeah, bad baby is pregnant, or she just had a baby. I think bad baby was with baby. Somebody oh. somebody was a couple steps ahead of us. Dude, yeah. Is this the one that already has a baby, or has a kid, or is this first kid? I think is that, is that Catch Me Outside. Girl? Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Bad I mean, baby. It is Catch Me Outside. Beautiful. Wow. Under, <laughs> I mean, who, I'll be on. I'll be on record to say that Bad Baby is bad. She offers. I mean, she is. I don't, she, you know. I just can't take that attitude, man. I, 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 I kind of like it, <laughs> I <laughs> dude. 
I think the playful bit, I, but I feel like she would slash her tires. Oh, big oh, yeah. time. Yeah. I don't know. She, she seemed like a, she was okay for a while afterward. She said, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that to my parents. Gucci flip-flops banged, too. <laughs> that was a good, that was a good-ass song. Did she make that song? She did. Gucci flip-flops? Debut single. Who Gucci sang it? Bad baby. I guess I'm never. I guess I'm never. <laughs> she's she screen wrote for somebody. You and me are listening to two different types of Gucci flip flop songs. Dude, what Gucci flip flop song are you? <laughs> I, the future song. Maybe. How he made love to a woman in Gucci flip flops. No, no, no. This is more. This one's more. Hor- You're thinking of like the TikTok. Like, the TikTok, TikTok joke. Yeah, the TikTok version of of it. Uh, Suck up. It's 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 bad. bad. It's not okay. Oh, uh, it's not okay. It's maybe very funny, though. maybe get back to the OG. Maybe get back to the original <laughs> Gucci flip flops. Get back to my, to my roots with the Gucci yes flip-flops. yes. So, yeah. so out of out of all the podcasts and radio shows that reached out to your management, yes yes. What what made you decide to make your media debut here? Um, the check was nice. Um. I guess the getting flown out and the check part that was the biggest part. Yeah, I mean, we do what we can. Not everybody yeah. gets to come out to Abu Dhabi. I was, uh, I guess y'all don't know Malachi. I'm going to put him on the spot. He Malachi. got an offer to play Division Three football, okay? Yeah, First off, Malachi. The first and, offer yes. he got, he said, bless to receive this offer. What? And Zach got him today and was like, you said you're – Blessed to receive your first offer. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that that that's me right now. I'm blessed to receive my first podcast offer. Oh, dude. <laughs> they don't send those letters to everybody. Dude, hell no, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> oh man, I'm happy for him. I just I hope it doesn't take away from his jujitsu. Well, he's he's not going. He's yeah. going to Calhoun. Oh really? I might get back into teaching just so I can have him. He's going into. Oh, he was just t- flexing that he got an offer. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, why, <laughs> why was he not gonna take it if he was? Flexing? I don't know. It was 10 hours away from home. Uh, okay, that understands. Private school. Private school. So no scholarship full, money. Full ride. No. Nah, they no. Just, they're like, hey, man, you can play here. <laughs> there was like, so, they just, so they're just, and, and maybe not the case with him, I don't know. They're just reaching out to people being like, Please. Hey man, you want to play ball? Yeah, please well, play you, ball. How about you pay this this tuition? Yeah, that's like I had a buddy of mine who got an offer to play baseball at Birmingham Southern private school. That's like the highest costing school in the state. So it's like you're paying ninety grand a year oh. to play in a bad program. That's rough, man. Still more money than like in jujitsu though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. That sounds way. like negative money to me. But jujitsu is negative money. I'm about I, to I say, yeah. yeah, all of it's all of it's coming to, coming around. I mean, PGF kicks off in about two weeks. And PGF maybe turning it around. Craig, yeah, Craig is giving money to the people who lose. Dude, Craig's, Craig's giving money to Ukraine. <laughs> dude, <laughs> yes. also, you dude, he's Craig's giving money his to presents Ukraine. to Ukraine. Dude. It was so funny. His story the day he gets in the Ukraine was like him in a thong, and then <laughs> him in the Ukraine in a funny hat, and then. A picture of a building less than a mile from him getting blown off the face of the earth. <laughs> like, the most... <laughs> like, dude, it's so funny. It's alright. It's a pretty good place. Also, I've always... What is his... Again, helping the Ukraine is a good thing. Yeah. So yeah. don't take this. But well, Why does Craig feel so passionately about the Ukraine? I mean, I think Have we... Craig- have has anyone thought of this? Okay, so Craig doesn't do anything unless there's money and drugs involved. So either there's a lot of drugs in the Ukraine, or there's a lot of money, and I doubt there's money. So there's they're definitely giving him some drugs. Well, let's see, he he's doing seminars out there to raise money for the troops, right? Yeah, and like that's again, that's a very good thing. Yeah, but. When did this idea... Like, he's Australian, that's not really... And I feel like everyone's already forgotten about the Ukraine. Like, no one... You don't see, like, the hot girls that had the Ukraine on their story Uh eight months ago. Like, that would have been the time to go. Do you think it's the girls in Ukraine? Just, maybe it just you know, he just he just he just left the Philippines, tired of the lady boys. You know, maybe the Slavic women the are right? incredible. I do exactly. think. Exactly, that's what he said. He, he, he said, How, why would you want to pull out of Ukraine? With all those beautiful women, that's dude. Exactly why? That's a yeah. May have may have solved it. 
asshole. Wow. I feel like there's an easier way to go to war. Again, again, good, good, good for Craig. But there's if you're into Slavic women, maybe there's one of those lady boys in the states. Supplement. Oh, okay, no. Yeah. States. Okay. Maybe I haven't found any in Alabama, but seems like you have. I've heard some. I've heard some nice things about you and your dating life, dude. I've. You won't show us a picture. I'm in love with a girl right now. I think. Oh, I hope so. You heard it. I, I, re- I really hope so. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think she'd claim me. Oh, that's so good. Which, which is yeah. You the, wouldn't want the, it any other way. No, the chase is. I'm. I'm buried in. You're. Yeah. You're. You're cooked. Yes. 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 Big wave, Dave. Got a little, little, little rowdy on this one. So uh, we got a little cut here, but other than that. You still got a lot more, a lot more, a lot more Big Wave Dave, a lot more, you know, Geppetto action. Does he not look like Geppetto? Oh, anyway, enjoy the rest of the show. If I'm on vacation, I want to do nothing. Is this recent? Was this recent? February. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm asleep till 11, but then ball out vacation kind of guy. Or, or chill. I've been on sleep, like, Chill out. back porch, you know, back oh, porch dude. and snacks till 11, and then, you know. Dream vacation is beach chair until I get tunes. tired of sitting in the beach chair. Beach chair tunes. Yeah, and then Jump I go, the water, then I eat. The yeah, you get, get, get wet for 15 minutes, and then go dry off, and then go get food. Yeah. I, that's, not, that's not me. I, I like to go try to get to, like, the, the sandbar. Oh. I'm one of those scary. Like, yeah, I might not be able to get back. I'm afraid of the ocean. Oh, so, I'm afraid too. So you, no, sorry. Go sorry, ahead. continue. Yeah. It's just scary. I'm afraid too. One time I looked down and I saw a uh, octopus really far away from me. I just chickened out. I ran back on the water. There's a, you saw an octopus in the water? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. It was scary. I don't want to do it again. My freshman year of college, we had to go around the room and say our biggest strength and our biggest. Uh, not strength yeah weakness and I said my strength was I love working with others and my weakness was sharks <laughs> thinking it would get like a laugh yeah silence <laughs> <laughs> ever since then I've hated the ocean <laughs> like, like just that one yes it, it has nothing to do with, with the actual the, ocean yeah I don't I, don't, I couldn't get I, I don't care about going in the ocean yeah. like if you told me like hey I'll give you a hundred bucks go swim up in the sandbar okay yeah, it was a sandbar. Bag. But like, as a, principally, I don't like the ocean now. Well, you shouldn't. And we aren't very good at move, maneuvering in the ocean. No, that would be a nice side quest to get really good at maneuvering surfing. in the ocean. Yeah, anything. anything. Or just like you know, like Navy SEALs can just like drop to the bottom of a pool. Oh yeah, that's mm. that's a big that's a big. I, I really I really can't swim that well. Like I can like I can swim. Like I'm not gonna die or anything. Yeah. But like, if I gotta swim, for what from, it sounds like, you are gonna die. It, no, you, no. Like I can swim, but I get like more tired than I should. You know what I mean? Like I'm like when I get there, I'm huffing. I do think someone videoed me swimming once. Yeah, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've had that happen. No, fun. and it is one of the most embarrassing things that's ever <laughs> happened to me. That's like you know, like the. In your head, you're Michael. Phelps. Oh, dude, yeah, and you're you just look going. like you're doggy paddling. Like everything looks so bad. Yeah. You know, like the douchebag thing to say of like, "Oh, take a girl swimming on the first date or whatever." Yeah, that's the op. Like. Yeah, we we have to be married before you see me tread (laughs) water. (laughs) Like you have to be you have to be betrothed to me before you see me doggy paddle across the creek. Pictures are always fun. You're always steady. You're not in in motion. I even feel like a picture me like balled up (laughs) or like looking like a farm animal floating in the water. Let me ask y'all this. This is important. This is close to close to the heart. Okay. So you are in a body of water. And it slowly gets more and more shallow as you reach, you know, being outside of the body of water. Sure. Okay. Do you stay upright the whole time? No. Or, or, or do you, like, walk on your hands or do, like, the midget walk under the water? Like, what, what's y'all's method? Leaving? Yeah, leaving. Not going in. You're leaving. getting out of the you're water. Leaving the, what you're leaving the water. Because, like, at what age... Are you not allowed? 
You what do you what mean? Saying? What do you mean allowed? At what point did they put an age bracket on a, there? A grown man ought not <laughs> walk on his hands and knees getting out of the, the water. The thing is, is like when you're looking from the shore, all you see, like it looks like he's just in deep water. But then you, like, if you could see, you're just like, oh, this guy's like belly crawling out of the water. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. At what point? Because then you you have that awkward moment where you, you're like, okay, I've just got to stand up. My belly's scraping the sand. As soon as I can stand up, I'm standing up. Okay. If there's someone around. Okay. If it's me, I might belly crawl. To the- <laughs> it's fun, dude. I mean, it, that is... I think the the midget walk pisses me off the most. Because, like, why are you act Like, why are you making it dramatic? But that was the most fun. <laughs> well, all you can see is, like, shoulders and head. Yeah, I'm glad we're on this midget thing. I love midgets. Well, it's, it's not about the midgets, man. It's, it's about... It is. It's about movement behavioral patterns. It's about you acting like what you're doing is cool. It's not. Well, I don't even feel. I feel cool, but I'm not thinking about being looked at. You think I? You think I'm doing jujitsu because I feel like it's cool? It, there's nothing more oh. awkward than like hitting that part in the like the sand where you like you have to stand up, but you were like you were prone in the water. You know what I mean? If, I, you, if you get up there that if you get that far, there's nothing. Is the only reason that. a man should be prone because there's war? If I had a girl, I feel like she'd leave me right there. No, I, I was the. But for me, being four foot eleven means that I'm out of the water before I can touch the ground. That's true. Like you know, like it has to be. It's pretty quick for you. Yeah, my apartment pool, the deep end is five foot five inches. Mm-hmm. So that's the sweet spot for awkward. Because mm. if I if I'm on my tiptoes. Yeah, you're too far up. It's just my head. Oh, no. <laughs> so I either have to, like, like, what do you do? You either have to, like, s- tread. Yeah. yeah. Or you, s- if I'm flat-footed, it's, like, here. Well, you know what you do. You hold on to the side of the pool, and you and you just grab. Yeah. I've only been in my apartment pool twice, because last year people kept throwing... Coins. <laughs> what? <laughs> I swear. I got. I got an email. What? People, what? 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 I swear. Tell me what people. I, <laughs> they coins. I got. I got an email that was like, "Please stop throwing change <laughs> in the pool. We can't use the vacuum on the pool anymore." And then they were like, "I got another email that was like, okay, last call. Whoever's throwing nickels in the in the pool, we're gonna shut down the pool." <laughs> None of those wishes are coming true. Like, not, not one of those wishes are coming true. So then they just were shut getting, down the pool. Are you getting hit by change? Like I, I, I never witnessed any change throwing, but I do know <laughs> hilarious. Like I was coming in from a noon class, yeah. and my routine in the summer was like, and this is I don't know if this is gross or not. Go, you get home, you're sweaty. Yeah. Dunk in the pool. Mm. Go shower. Don't know if that's a health risk. Sorry, Hermitage Apartments. If that's the I went maybe. I Fort Mallard one time after training, like straight after. Yeah, but and he's okay. He's okay. Look at him. Okay. Well, I'm, I don't. I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. I'm gonna go take my dip, and there's an apartment worker, huffing and puffing, because he's having to dive to the bottom to pick up coins. <laughs> <laughs> and he oh. and he was like, <laughs> like, like what? <laughs> being pissed off with goggles. <laughs> There's like so having weird. to dive and then pick up as many coins as you can until you run out of breath and then set the coins <laughs> off to the side. And there was a lot of coins. Are coins magnetic? Like, no, there's no way. No, no. some of them are. No. Some so, of them are. And then he was like, the pool's closed. And I was like, oh, what's going on? He goes, people get throwing coins in it. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> like, how much money? Like, so he much. had he had a small pile. No, no. Dude. But like, that's, I that's like to foul. think that a child did it first. Uh, yeah. And yeah. then someone read the email. And was like, oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and it was yeah. like, now we're like going and like going to the ATM or we're like going to the bank and like I want thirty dollars in nickels <laughs> just, <laughs> and just tearing off the little roll yeah and just like not roll. even oh. having fun with it just just throwing thro- like throwing them and leaving. Oh, just pennies <laughs> everywhere. Oh man. I would love to be that person that had to go get them though. 
They would have to pay me a lot more than what they probably would have wanted to. Want Dude, to, you know? that place is run awful. I got a, they like, we have an email service. Mm. They can send us emails on. Yeah. But they just stick pieces of paper in your door to tell you things. Oh. Like, <laughs> send me an email. But a guy was like, hey, pest control's coming tomorrow. Put any pets up. Okay, I don't have pets, but that's what they said on this phone. Knock on the door. And they kill a Rottweiler. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, they shot a Rottweiler eight times. <laughs> it was a pest. Mag, mag dumped a dog. At the, but I opened the door and the guy's like, hey, uh, pest control. I'm like, hey. And he's like, have you seen any cockroaches? I'm like, no, I don't have any cockroaches. Like, okay. And leaves. Oh. Doesn't spray. And I was like, hold on. <laughs> this is, you're probably the reason why we don't have bugs. Like, come back and I was like, hey, are you going to spray? And he was like, no, you don't have, you don't have bugs. That didn't make any sense to me. We'll see. <laughs> if you get bugs, then they got to call them back charging again. Mm. Also, a guy died there like a, two weeks ago. Did I, he have bugs in his body? I don't know, but I, I get back, back from the gym. Yeah. And there's like, fire truck and cops everywhere and I was like, sucks yeah. and me and the old guy that hit my car that now we're buddies we're standing outside and he's like probably somebody with drugs or whatever and he's like yeah maybe and then they pull him out on a stretcher with a sheet over him. he goes oh my god he's dead <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like it's not funny anymore I was like taking pictures like uh oh you know spaghetti like all the GM messages got leaked <laughs> oh, <laughs> like yeah. making then a guy was dead and I was like oh this ain't funny no more <laughs> it's a little funny and then they had a guy moving in two days later. Hey, our, neighbor, I, our neighbor dude. got busted for Fent. Yeah. Hey, big, big old bag. Big old big bag. Old bag. I was going to go Facebook. to work. Yeah, I was going to. Yeah, they flexed it. <laughs> <laughs> the I, cops I was, acting like it's a deer. <laughs> oh, oh, they loved it. They're, they're all loved, standing around like. They're holding it like a fish. Like super troopers. <laughs> but like, I walked out. I was going to go to work. and uh, my, Or my sister was bringing me like something before, before I was going to go to work. And uh, she pulled up. She was like, why are these cops outside? And, like, I look outside, like, right off the porch. And it was the one of the quadplexes over that way. And I see them pull out the battering ram. And I see them have this lady with them. And I'm like, oh, that's the girlfriend. She totally, like, they bust the door down, take the guy out. And then she goes in with him. I was like, she's showing them everything. She knows where everything is. And then, wow. lo and behold, look on Facebook, both of their mug shots. So. Damn, so they got her too? I guess they got her and then she snitched, but well, she, she snitched had first, much less of a charge or whatever than he did. I need to find one that wouldn't tell the cops where I'm hiding my bag of fentanyl. Yeah. She, a fent hider. Dude, me, me and Zach have talked about a uh, fent guard. Okay. Instead of donkey guard, you know how they like lean yeah, over? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, that that might be the new the new technique of the week. Yeah. Fent guard. Fent guard. <laughs> Just zoinked out. Yeah, just. <laughs> Jinkies. That's good. That's good. But I have another question. Come on. When do you think you'll get good at jujitsu? Mm. <sighs> Dude, I, I still Give me a. Six months. Give me four years I give to get six. my first stripe on my white belt. Dude, I'll give you, listen, you probably got your first stripe the one time you played guitar in front of Brandon. You probably got your first I've heard, stripe. I've heard, you know, shredding that music room gets you some, it's, it's supposed so to get you some stripes. Real brownie points. Then Jim should be a brown belt because mm. he yeah. can play. He can, I, Jim can go. I believe it. I believe it. What can't Jim do? Dude, Jim might be my favorite guy at the gym. We, we just went. We just there. talked to him for an hour or 45 minutes. I keep burping into this microphone. That'll be really good. Yeah, I'll lick it later. It'll be <laughs> but, yeah, six years, I think I'll get a, I think I'll be a blue belt in six years. Six years? Yeah. Oh, I, believe, I believe that. Yeah. 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 It's a little unrealistic, but. Yeah. I, I, have, I have high hopes. I think I'm going to quit my job and try to live in the gym. I did that. Now you're proving the people right. Yeah. 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 You had to be yeah. That's kind of, I don't know. If I was better, if I was like naturally talented at it, oh, dude. I feel like I would make a run. Make a run to ADCC, you think? Or anything. Just see if I could like do anything. Go as far that, as possible. Yeah, that just wasn't working. 
just see how far he can pitch. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Be, yeah, me too. I think. I mean, I th- what we would all like to think that if we had the right amount of like, right amount of uh, talent, we could we would just go, yeah, bang, zoom so straight to the middle. Twenty percent skill. Yeah. I don't know. It does suck how much I like jujitsu because it's the gayest thing ever. Yeah, it's I the did. lamest I've hobby. That I roll emotionally. It's it's so much fun to train, yeah. but then having to tell someone you do it. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. Not really for me. They, they can just be embarrassed. You know how many times me. on a dating app I've been like, I do martial arts, and it's just been... And they're just... It just sounds <laughs> so bad. Yeah. You shouldn't say that. You shouldn't say that, number one. You should be like, hey, I have hey. tried so many different ways of phrasing it. There's no, You don't they phrase don't. it at all. Because if you I say you do jujitsu, yeah. no one knows what that means. Mm-hmm. But if I say I wrestle or fight, I'm lying. Dude, you gotta you gotta start out with I teach kids jujitsu. Number one, they're like, oh, he's good with kids. Let that's great. That's what you do. I guess submission wrestling is the that's, most attractive that's phrasing. The way of saying grappling. It. Grappling. Last time I saw Luke tell somebody he was a grappler, they said. Oh, you mean like getting in there and getting the fish? And we're like, what does that mean? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like, I would have been like, catfish, yes, <laughs> yes, that, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't get that. That one went way over my head right there. there. Yeah, there's no good martial arts. I feel like is the worst though. So, because like even when I hear people say like, oh, being a martial artist, I cringe. Mm. Yeah. Even from people that I think are badass, like, yeah. like people say, it and I'm like, God. like, GSP. Yeah, like don't. I don't know. I like it. If anyone, maybe it's because I'm not been in it long enough. Give me a year, and I'll start maybe coming around to the martial artist thing. But I, what we need to do is take that word away from the people that shouldn't have it. Like, uh, they they're doing like. Like martial fantasy. The I I wish that's what I did. Mar- was like, like the Aikido. G-ball. Yes, yes. Yeah. That to me, like, if we're gonna play pretend, at least I think I'm doing something cool. Cause what's would I rather believe I made a chi ball or be in side control for six minutes? Like bottom side. Yes. Oh. Chi ball. But the thing is, like. Only the guy hosting gets to shoot the chee balls. Everybody else has got to be the ones to like take the fall balls. down and. Oh no! Oh, I would be taking the chee balls. I would start my own leader. school. Yes, like I, I would start your own chee ball school. I, All you have I, to do is hire one guy I to just fall ball. around for you. That's what I'm saying. Like I feel like end goal in anything is to start a cult. I, I, okay. Yeah. I think that would be sick. And then, and then you get with people's wives. I do. That is the great thing about cults is give it eight months and God always tells them that you need to have sex with their wives. Yeah. <laughs> Across the board. That's yeah. how it always goes. Yeah. yeah. God's real weird about that. I mean, it is the <laughs> that show on I'll Netflix, know where he gets it. Waco. Have you ever watched that? No. I love Netflix cult documentaries. Dude. It's like a mini series. Uh-huh. It's the best. The guy's name is also David. Oh. And he has a mullet and he plays guitar. Oh. And he has a ranch out in Texas. Listen, I'll go wherever you want me to go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's pretty sick. You seen Keep Sweet, Pray and Obey? No, I have not. <sighs> Crazy Mormon one. Crazy Mormon one. The, I kind of mess with like the Mormons. something wives. Most of them were like, dude, I got age. the... Give me a moment. I'll be right back. Correct. Like, had legal marriage certificates to underage girls. How do you even make that happen? You find a way. I can't condone that, but I will say the Mormons put. Have you ever had the Diet Coke with the, like, coconut creamer in it? The Mormon juice? Yeah, like, like that. They make it. Yeah, because they, they, they can't have caffeine. I don't know what sect of, like, uh,. Oh, is that a Book of Mormon? Yes. Dude. Why do you have one of those? That's crazy. I stole, it. I stole it from my Christian friend. I don't know what, uh, what sect friend. of Mormonism 
the keep sweet one is, but like that this guy's like in prison yeah. and like they still follow him from prison. Oh really? Yeah, like they get, like we locked him up and they're still just following him from he the phone call. Dude, speaking of that, the guy in Waco, right? The ATF burned down their whole thing, right? The ATF because they had guns and stuff. That's how they like, made their money. Was like going to like gun shows and stuff. Yeah, dude. They burn it down. Yeah. I have a buddy who drove out to Waco to go see the compound because they rebuilt it, and there's still people that believe what that guy taught and lived there. That guy's dead now, and there's like a small group that's still there. He goes inside. They let they let him in, mm-hmm. and this lady starts talking to him. This older lady mm-hmm. that had been there. She didn't die in the fire or whatever, and she's like this really nice man from Austin, Texas, gave us the money to rebuild this, and gave us everything we have in here today. So it was outfitted with TVs, for like it was nice on the inside. She was like she had a radio. Or he was like the really nice man from uh, uh from Austin has a radio program. Mm-hmm. Called no the Joe Rogan Experience, and she like has no clue who he is, huh? Wait, A- Alex Jones. Alex oh! Jones. <laughs> Alex Jones <laughs> paid, <laughs> dude. He paid for them to, and like, not publicized. Why? Because the ATF, because the government burned it down. He gave them the money to rebuild it. So and he she, doesn't care about them. He's just like, oh, he's all the all government burned it down. So yeah, yeah. yeah build but back she, up she, she was like, yeah, this there. guy has like a radio show on the internet that's like pretty big. It's like Information Wars or something. He goes, Alex Jones rebuilt this, and she was like, that is his name. Yeah, it's like, do you know him? He was like, yeah, everybody knows Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> that's nuts. That's nuts. Yeah. What about the Yellow Deli people, dude. Same friend. No way. Yeah. So look. So is this guy just into that? We, me and him both have like an, this is like my best friend. Word. Uh, shout out Noah. Uh, but we Randolph. were, we were, yeah, shout out Noah Randolph. <laughs> Caesar monkey. Uh, it, we would go up to the Yellow Deli all the time. And we would always chop it up with the guys. Right? Oh, that's great in there. I Dude, love it there. So, one of the guys we got to talking to, and this was like back whenever we were like both like really into church. And like he was like kind of like wanting to debate them on certain things. Like whatever. Yeah. Right, but we would always like give them like subtle shit, right about like the stupid stuff. Like they only could listen to the music they played in there because that was the right music. What do you mean? Like God liked the like instrumental bluegrass fiddly type music. Okay, okay. And I always yeah, thought that was George is out of out of the question. Huh? No, no, no. That's too fast. Yeah, right? It's too fast. They yeah, were it's unrealistic. It's like mellow bluegrassy type. Like it's got a mandolin in it. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes. Yeah, and I always wanted to ask the question of like, and same with like the Amish. Mm. At what point did 1864 become too much? Mm. Where was the line? Where is the line? Yeah, it's like it is technology. Yeah, it's like why isn't it 1770? Why is it not 1905? Anyway, yeah. we were giving this guy hell about like, oh, you, you know, what about Mumford and Sons? You guys will mess with Mumford and Sons, like just whatever. And I forget his name. They give him like a Hebrew name. And my buddy was like, hey, if you're ever in Florence, you should come by my house. Like, if you go by the stadium. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who, who, whose house? My buddy's house. Okay, I was about to say, I know this guy ain't got a house. No, 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 no. <laughs> they all live in the, that big oh, house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he was like, hey, if you're ever in Florence, come by my house. And he was like, oh, where is it? He's like, if you go by Brawley Stadium, up the hill, second house on the right. Or left. Should we edit that out? What? And... No, 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 he does not live there now. Okay. Uh, I guess you could go to that house. We sit on that roof all the time. But <laughs> a couple weeks later, I get a call. Okay. And he goes, hey, Zebediah's here. <laughs> no way. And Zebediah. two of them got so, dropped wait, wait, off. Is that his new name? Is he a homegrown or a coincidence? I think the, whenever you go into the Yellow Dough, they give you a new name. So wow. you're no longer Jackson. You're Nephi or whatever Dude, they man, want you that's... to be. So they dropped, and they stayed like five days with him in that house. Five and days? They, they stayed a long time, and they wouldn't eat. They were really, like five days. Like they dropped. Or how many them, people? Like two of them. So they always come in pairs. Like pairs? The, like the Mormons. Yeah, like Mormons. No. So you have your no, buddy. That's, no, it's like the Sith. There's two there always are. <laughs> them, them too. Sith, Mormon, all in the same. <laughs> yeah. But they brought their own food. And drinks. Whoa. Like, they would not... Like, you could... 
for five days worth of food and drink. So they had like mates or whatever. They if you know made what that. Them sandwiches, dude. Dude, Smaller. Yellow Deli Pretty people do not eat their food. No way. They what? don't eat the food that that, that they serve. They they don't eat it. Because we asked him, I can tell. Because we it we taste that good. We at the no the yellow dough, dude. The yellow <laughs> dough is good. It's okay. The we asked him he was like, "What's your favorite thing on the menu?" And he was like, "Oh, well, people really like uh, the deli rose." Mm-hmm. I was like, "Yeah, but what's your favorite?" And he goes, "Oh, we don't we don't eat the sandwiches that we serve." We're like, "What do you guys eat?" They're like, "Well, according to scripture, like we have a very you know we ought to eat." You know, and he quoted some obscure verse from like Acts or something. I was like, okay. And we we're like, let me see what you eat. Like, if you eat supper tonight while we're here, let me bring it out here so we can see it. Mm-hmm. And it was just like porridge, oh. like slop. No. And they were like, y'all eat that. He was like, every day. I was like, is it good? He goes, it sustains us. We're like, oh, so it's not good either. <laughs> like, oh, so it sucks. But yeah, th- those guys were weird. And that they would go into like a coffee shop and post up and like they look like Amish people, right? Yeah. yeah. And they would just like wait for a person to sit down and be like, hey, what are you doing? Can I share a few things with you? <laughs> and if you notice, all of the Yellow Delis are all on small college campuses. They want the disenfranchised first time away from mommy and daddy. Yes. Small school, UT Chattanooga, uh, Martin Methodist, whatever it's called now, Tennessee at Martin or whatever. Pulaski. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's like one in New York in a small college, like in Colorado by a small college. Like, that's where they go. So these Yellow Dilly people, they're actually the 12 tribes people for anybody looking to do a little bit of research. Yes, yes. They had an issue with a child labor back in like the 80s, 90s, something like that. They, they got were, ran out of, they got ran out of Knoxville. Mm-hmm. They started in Knoxville, got ran out of Knoxville. How? Why? Child because of the ch- they were pushing the children? So, but if you, if all three of us are in the Yellow Deli, uh-huh. and all three of us have kids, and Sawyer's kid is like a little badass little kid, yeah. and Jackson catches Sawyer's kid doing something bad, it's Jackson's responsibility to beat that kid nice. on on site. Yeah, make it like, like how it used to be. Yeah, but like <laughs> there's there's a documentary on like, Hulu or something about them and like there's reports of like women that like if they did not like they like betrothed them to someone they would like lock them in rooms and not feed them and beat them and be like do you, do you want to marry Nephi or not and then finally they'd be like well shit I guess I want to marry Nephi then Dude. it's like I've always I've never had the balls to like look at one of like the women that they cause like the, if you notice too the women are very rarely servers I don't know. They're always serving for me. I've a few, but it's been weird hours, kinda. If I've always wanted to be like, do you? Oh, they're mostly behind the kitchen. Yeah, that's where they are mostly. They run Dude, food. That's, that's just, they let the older. Just me. It's usually older women that will serve. Bingo. The ones that Bingo. are broke. Yep. The ones that are not gonna try to leave. I've always wanted to be wow. like, do you want to go? <laughs> I'm like. Do you? Are you they good? Just run in there. And be like, hey, are you guys like okay? Yeah, like. Because I always, like, if you were in a cult, first you have to realize you're in a cult. Did they kick you out of the restaurant? They would. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Just for asking. Yeah. If you, like, hit them with, like, a, hey, like, you know, we can, like, we can help you out. There's people who help people. Like yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> but, like, I, I don't understand, like, I don't, I would go eat there, but, like, it's after watching the documentary and learning about it, you're like, also, don't tip them because oh, they because yeah. they, they don't they don't get the tips. They don't get the tips. Who, who gets the tips? The common the pot. They they, they live yeah, out of a yeah. common pot. Yeah. Well, then they, they get it though. No, not re- they don't get paid. What? Everything goes in the church. They all live together. So I, I had an experience. Is over this there. communism? I, I was yes. The, I was over there back oh, when they were. 20, not 24 7, 24 6. Yeah, they, it's, they, they had a day off. They're sat, the Saturday is their Saturday. So I was there, wow, middle of the night. We were on our way home from a trip. We love stopping there. We'll go there. We used to go there all the time because, I mean, man, a country ranch. <laughs> what you talking about, ranch. dude? Nothing beats a country ranch. Yeah. 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 But 
um, I I was I was over there and I was with some friends and there was a super tall guy and we you know we got to talking to him. it's middle of the night there's not many many people in there he's one of the few people in there and uh, he he was real tall and his jeans were rolled up and like we were like well they they they're like Amish people like they could probably hem those yeah we're like hey man like why don't why don't you get your your jeans hemmed I think one of our friends was like man I could do that for you and he was like oh well the next person to wear them might need them to be longer. Like, they don't even have their own clothes. <gasps> oh. Like, and we, we we were talking to him. We're like, hey, man, like, are you all right? Because he was, like, just lumbering around, just, like, barely awake. And, I mean, it was middle of the night. I mean, you go to Waffle House in the middle of the night. People are, they're, they're barely getting by. Yeah. He was I'm like, he was like, to fight. this yeah. is, he said, I'm almost done with my shift, but I had to chop trees down all day before this. So and I was like, dude, they've been working this dude like a dog. So they, it's the restaurant, and then they have like a construction company. Oh. And that's how they like make their money. Yeah. Whoa. He's like, I've been logging all day. I'm almost to the end of my shift, and he was just like, he barely like was awake. I wonder if that's. He. We asked him how he joined. Yeah. He. He said. I got lost in the mountains, and they found me. Wow. Like, he said, like, he was lost, like, he went out camping or trail hiking. So he was lost, and they just found him. Or, like, he came out, he found them, like, he ran into them after being lost in the woods, <laughs> in the mountains. Is what, that's what this guy told me. Dude, crazy, crazy, really wonder, crazy, crazy really story. Wonder. Crazy story. I, one time when I was there, I went to pay, and I was like, Hey man, I'm so sorry. I left my wallet in the car. I'll be right back. I promise. Mind you, I was with a large group. Yeah. Like, if I had not come back, somebody else would have like gotten yeah. in for that. Like, yeah. I wasn't just gonna dine and dash. And I was like, I'll be right back. My wa- my wallet's in the car. And he was like, It's all good, man. Like my whole meal. Whoa. Just they just paid for it like, right there. What? Whoa. And I was like, Man, my 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 money's in the car. Like I'm coming right back. I like I, I promise. And he was like. It's all good, they man. they they do do a good job of giving you free stuff. They do They're do very a, nice. And like there, if you sit there long They're enough, never giving me anything. Well, if you will talk to them and ask them questions oh, do and that. like kind of like I'm afraid play the answers. like no like if you will play the game mm-hmm. and just whatever they say, it'd be like oh that's interesting. <laughs> like even if it's like the craziest shit you've ever heard, be like oh, that's i would never thought of it. Like, oh, I've never thought that we should only listen to Amish, you know, mandolin music. Then, like, do you want to try a banana milk? And you're like, I didn't know bananas had milk. And they're <laughs> yeah. like, oh, you're not going to believe this. And then, like, <laughs> they're, then they're like, have you ever had our cinnamon rolls? Like, no, I, what's a cinnamon roll? And they're, you know, they just, they'll, they'll like, keep it coming. But hey, you, I can't be so that good. Dude, so, every, everything there is so good. It's expensive too, right? It's kind of high. Eh, it's fine for what it is, but like dude, sick, ranch, dude. Man. That does make me want there. I'm kind of ashamed to say this because mm-hmm. this is slobbish behavior. This is real slobbish behavior. Real slob. But I was driving back from Nashville once, and it was like I was trying to get back, but it was like midnight, and I was like, I could. And I got a deli rose, a deli pesto, a country ranch, oh my gosh. a matcha latte, Dude. a cinnamon roll, wow. and a piece of strawberry cake for me. And I <laughs> let it, I drank the drinks or whatever, and when I got home, I acted up. Like, <laughs> just, just, just hammered it. And was like, this is one of the most disgusting things a human being has probably ever done. Like, I ate so much food, but it's so good. You gotta do that every now and then. Dude, sometimes you just gotta show your gut who's boss. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go gut hard. Blasted, gut blasted. Uh, I've put myself in some predicaments like that every now and again. It, and I'll, 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 I'll do it pretty often. Like, if I go to <laughs> a, like, a, a faux place or whatever, faux place. Oh, yeah. I'll get two bowls of pho and a couple sandwiches, some spring rolls, a boba, and I'll sit there by myself and ha- and I'll make them watch me go crazy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. rack up a fifty dollar bill. To witness this, dude. Headphones on, YouTube video, and just scarfing it down. That's pretty good, man. I'll I have 
This is this is a confession. Oh, okay, this is a good cool, one. cool. This is I a have good hit. One. He's got a lot of these. Multiple. <laughs> it's all your nose. How disgusting <laughs> I am. I've hit multiple drive-throughs of the same restaurant in the same town because I'm embarrassed of how much I've ordered. What do you I have, wait? I have what? hit. I have hit, ta- I have hit Taco Bell on sixth. And then gone and hit Taco Bell on Beltline. Whoa! Because I'm like, because like I don't want them to know. This I don't want them to know. Because like I'm a regular. Is... So for the first, t- I'm not doing it now. Now I'm I'm on the straight and narrow. Sure, sure. Luke, Luke and Sarah they cater. Me. Sure. I, I pay them every week. They go home. They cook me meals. They make money. That's I'm getting fitter. That's it's all and hey, it's a, it's a lot better than fast food. But oh for yeah. Two years. My first two years of living on my own. I had fast food probably 95% of my meals. So I'm a regular. Yeah. And hey, I gained 50 pounds. That'll happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's your, if, if you, if all bets are off, mm. you just rolled 36 rounds mm. and you chopped trees today. Hey, I, I, I did roll 30 rounds okay, two okay. weeks ago. Okay. So imagine you worked a full day. Right. You did that yeah. little cardio after. You're depleted, mm. and you're like, I'm gonna treat myself to an outlandish Taco Bell order. Mm. All menu items are on the table. All, all like all time. Like, yes, I get, like, like you, you, you get the so to be anything. fair. To be fair, Taco Bell probably isn't the best uh, example because I'm I'm fairly a picky eater. Mm. But, sure, but like I, I mean, <sighs> they only got three ingredients in the whole building. But the so, way so, they throw them together is incredible. Yeah, they and they, they really speed. piss me off with their like <laughs> they, 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 they get me hot. They get me hot about what? Like, We've got this on the menu now, and then next time you go to get oh, it, it ain't there. They Why? used to have a Chipotle chicken roll up that was just chicken, this Chipotle sauce, oh, and said <laughs> you know two dollar. Mm-hmm. The only one they still have is like the potato one. Mm-hmm. Those, I could eat probably seven. They got, they got the flatbread one now, dude. What, no, what whatever, whatever cantina stuff they're doing now. This is like the hot topic or whatever the new menu item. The cantina mm-hmm. cheesy taco, yeah, incredible. The cantina chicken quesadilla. I don't know what's di- you can't really tell what's different about it, but it's better. Yeah, really good. Really good. I might hit that on the way home. I would like for someone to go through and find out how many different items they've done with the same ingredients and just folded it different. The <laughs> dude, the crispinata that they just got rid of. The crispin wada. Dude, that was heat. That was really good. That's pretty fun. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else they've had. Did, I, had not, this, uh, did I not just hit that with crispin wada? Was that not the best? I don't know who that is. Who is it? Oh, brother. What's it from? Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit. The rabid Wolverine. Yeah. The He had a he had a oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> he had is one he, is he canceled before you even know about it. Oh, yes. If you want to say he's canceled, you can. <laughs> he sort of canceled himself. Yeah, he canceled himself on a We're in the a of second chances. Bowflex machine. Uh, oh, he died. He killed himself. Oh, and his man. family. Unfortunately, but he did. First. Yeah, he his was child. Then his no, his wife. Then his child. Yeah, yeah. Really sad. Great wrestler though. Oh, he's okay. He's a wrestler. Pro wrestler. Yeah. And he killed everybody. How? I don't know how. I don't know how. But but he did. It. Yeah. Right after, so Eddie Guerrero died, and then right like six months later, he did that. No, no, Eddie Guerrero died after. You know, and he didn't have any friend. He didn't have him. He was his best friend. No, no, no. I, I thought he killed. I thought he died from a heart from a from a OD afterward. I thought it was the other way around. I watched it recently. Semi recently. Maybe that is right. And he was like, he was just sad. Eddie Guerrero was sad, so he just OD'd in, in his uh, hotel. Hmm. I'm like, not super well versed the on only the wrestle, reason, wrestle world. The only Dude. reason why Chris Benoit was so was so great, it was so weird and crazy and off-putting because there was no reason. There's no real reason as to why he did it. 
Well, he had like CTE so bad yeah, it was that bad. that his in a sport you don't really get hit in. <laughs> no, you but do. his but his whole his whole thing was he would just hit people with his head. Oh, that was his deal. That's, so like, that's this is real lore. Dynamite Kid was who he idolized wrestling. Yeah, and he made the flying headbutt famous. Mm. And Chris Benoit, like the one Vin Diesel did in that Fast and Furious movie. I don't know which one, but yes. I'm not a Vin. I hate Vin Diesel. I do too, but that flying headbutt he did was pretty sick. I think headbutts are probably the he was most like, bad. He was like horizontal, and he just came through, and they knocked noggins. Head- Speaking of headbutts, I got a little, I got a little, uh, <laughs> a little garnish, you know. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, a little bit going on. He went over the sam- the sumos. Yeah, dude, that's badass. <laughs> that, I, I appreciate it. Dude, had a headbutt, dude. Fell asleep. You'd be, yeah. Well, he, so. He died? No. no, 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 no. He's alive. He's alive and well. So we, like, we, we, uh, off the Tachi Eye, you know, if you're a football player or a sumo wrestler, you know, like, when you, when you go off, like, the, the snap, like, you have your head up. He had his head down. And you can't see where you're going with your head down. And, like, also, in football, you hurt, hurt your neck. I watched the video. He had his head up. And then it started, and then he turned his head down. I think maybe he was trying to get a single leg. I don't know. I'll give the guy credit for that, maybe. But uh, he put his head down, and we hit pretty hard. And, like, it opened me up a little bit. But he had a big old gash, like, up in his hairline. And he was leaking everywhere. But we hit, and then I think he kind of went, like, a little bit limp on me. And I just kind of tossed him because my adrenaline was high. It took yeah, yeah. three seconds. Yeah. And then he stood up, and then he fought, fell back down, and he was just leaking all over the place. It was rough. Dude, a, a similar situation happened at the in-house tournament in Birmingham Saturday. We're watching this match, and then I forget if it was Zach or Dana. Someone went like, oh, oh shit, he's opened up. And I look up, and this guy's holding his chin and like holding his own? Like his chin like this. Ooh, like he's holding his chin up. Yeah, and he is like spraying. The mat is like getting red. Mm. And they're like, ooh, hey. And like he's just standing there and he like moves his hand for a second and just paints his rash guard. Like horror movie stuff. Yeah, and out I was like, mouth? no, out of his chin. I don't know how it happened. Like, and, like during the match it happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I, a headbutt or an elbow, knee, something. I don't know. And I asked, did he bite his tongue? I, it wasn't coming from his mouth. It was like his chin right here. Ooh. Oh, I bet oh, he I had a tooth come through. Yeah. I've seen that happen. Ooh. Especially with like, cause, uh, there was a, somebody who got choked. and uh, Or they were getting Manderson. Well, I wasn't going to say. Right. Somebody <laughs> Shout was, out. Somebody was getting choked at the gym and their teeth like. So they were like r- rubbing their arm against yeah. trying to get under the chin, and t- their teeth went through. Hard cross face. Maybe that was it. I don't know. I know that story. You know that story? Shout out. I got a picture of that. We might put that on the podcast. Anderson's okay with it. Uh, dude, speaking of embarrassing. Oh. Okay. Mm. Getting put to sleep is not embarrassing. I've been there. But I let Zach put me to sleep mm. because he said I wouldn't let him do it. And I was like, put me in a triangle. <laughs> like, I wanted to be you like... You immediately went to triangle. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I was like, I want you to put me in a triangle if you're going to put me to sleep. And he's like, no, like, I want to take your back and put you to sleep. So I was like, okay. So Scaff and Steven are watching, and he's like, I'm scared. And I'm like, dude, just go. It'll be fine. Getting put to sleep is not embarrassing. The waking up mm. is embarrassing. Because mm. you always... There's no good way to, like, play it off. But, like, yeah. when I woke up, I kind of, like, jerked some. You know what I mean? And, like, <laughs> that's... Yeah, and, like, that's embarrassing. And Zach looks scared and Scaff's giggling. <laughs> and Steven looks like he's like he, he like he's pondering, like always. You know what I mean? Yeah. Steve? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's... Just, that That's embarrassing. Yeah. I wish I wouldn't have let him do that. Not because... He got that on you. Well, like, he... I don't even know how it came up, but I was like, I'll let you put me to sleep. It's not a big deal. Like, I've been put out before. Yeah. And then it just... Then when I woke up, I... Oh, and I was yeah. like... <laughs> the oh, jerking. The jerking is yeah. the part that you I don't like. One. Dude. You well, had a bad one? I was in the Battle Royale. Oh. This guy, this big Cuban guy, had me in a Peruvian uh, necktie or whatever. And he was choking me. And I was sitting there trying to do, like, the picture day defense or something. Yeah, yeah. And I saw Luke coming to help me. And... <laughs> 
somebody was holding my legs. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, Luke's going to come help me. I'm going to be okay. And then I was riding on a bus in Murfreesboro, like up by uh, the Buffalo River. And I just couldn't wait to get in the water. And then I wake up. And Lindsay's got me by the feet, and she's shaking them back and forth, like, yelling my name. And she's, like, very, like, concerned. Nervous, man. And she's very stoic. So, I woke up, did not know where I was, who I was, what was going on. Oh, shit. Adam, like, came and, like, kind of picked me up and gave me, like, a box of apple juice. And he just was, like, holding me up. And he was, like, and I was just, like, I don't know who this is. So, you were out, I out. out. I went out. Bad. Like you could have died. I think out. I think she said or somebody said somebody who was recording. They were like, like he didn't let go. Like he didn't know that you were out. Ooh. Makes you really like think he, about like how scary. Off the, off the rip, he didn't know I was out. How do you not know? Like that's dude. Which I guess I, I guess I wasn't defending super hard, so you wouldn't feel the difference because I was like, oh, Luke's no, you know, you know though. But, but like, like putting know. someone out, you always like to me, it's. I've only put two people out. Yeah. And both times, it's like the shoulders just, like, oh, yeah, yeah. you can feel, like, the limpness. Yeah. Dude, one time I was rolling with Josh, and he put me out, and I came back, and we're still rolling. <laughs> he never noticed. No That's way. Good. Yeah. No yeah. way. So, we'll cut this out. We'll cut this out. He doesn't know. So, know. So, Wait, he still doesn't know? No, he, he knows now, because, oh, okay, okay. like, at the end of, like, the, I was, like, turtled up. And he was on a big Dars kick at the time. Dude, you got to teach me that one. I got, I got to learn how to do that. I want to pull that off and comp. Dude, and like he, <laughs> I remember being on my hands and knees, and then me being on my side. It was like a quick cut, and I was like, "How'd I get here?" I was like, "Whoa!" And like I'm seeing stars, and I was like, "Oh my god, he put me out!" And I was still up, and I look over at the clock, and there's like time left, and I'm like, "Oh, dude, we're in this." <laughs> like, like yeah. we're, good. We're, we're good. I was like, we're good. And then like it ran out, and I was like, dude, you put me out. He goes, ha ha. And I was like, no, dude, <laughs> I was like, no, dude, you put me out. Like, and I came back too, and he was like, oh, I thought I didn't have that dar. So I was like, no, you got it, all right. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I uh, I was rolling in another gym, and I had this heavyweight white belt I was rolling with, and I was putting him in a triangle. I put him in the TP triangle. I reverse triangle. Like I was, his shoulders were so big. Yeah, I was struggling. But I had him in this triangle, and he was posturing up. And I was pulling down on his head, and he started gargling. And then dude goes out, and a full mouth worth of saliva just goes running up my chest. And it, it I couldn't be mad at him because he just went to sleep. I can't wake somebody up and be mad at him. That's like what my mom used to do every morning. Yeah, yeah, school, yeah, 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 yeah. Do that. But honestly, I was kind of <laughs> like, up. that was so cool. Like him just go to sleep, and then. Did you tell him? Oh, he saw it, I mean. Oh, that, I would have had it to... Was, it was gross. I was about to say, that's more embarrassing than jerking back to life. Oh, it's, yeah, 100%. Also, yeah. how are you rolling with a mouthful of spit? Well, he was gargling because I was choking. Oh. Because, like, I was about to, like, I had the fist in the throat. Like, I was about to put, and he was, like, you know, when you yeah, have, you've got yeah. somebody who's just really not wanting to go. And then, because, I mean, he was close to getting out, and then he just... Dude. Getting put to sleep is low key fun. The feeling right, like right before you right go out, right dude, right that's that's it. Low key feels good. I'll, if we're going over chokes on a day, on like Tuesday Thursday night, I let it go for a little longer than it should. Dude, so Dylan, <laughs> I'm out on this one. All the blood goes straight to my brain. I'm like, Whoo! so Dylan. Oh, it's a high. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. oh big time. Okay. Who's what's Dylan's last name? Goofy Dylan. Uh, uh, with the glasses? Booker? Yes. No. Wait, not... not the, the younger guy with black hair that talks funny. The tall one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? I can't wait for him to hear this. What's his name, Sawyer? I'm trying to look for it, man. I'm Bro, trying, do you not know? I don't know his last name. Y'all are bros. Edwards. Yeah. Ed, yeah, still in Edwards. So it was me, him, and Colin. Glasses Colin. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're drilling, and I was like, I'm not going to tap to this triangle that we were like <laughs> drilling. Yeah. And he doesn't, like, he put me out, and he doesn't believe that he did. He's uh-huh. like, dude, you're full of shit. And I was mm-hmm. like, okay. <laughs> but, like, that, that was another embarrassing, like, whenever you start to come to, I just feel embarrassed. I'm like, I don't know what it is, but going out feels good. Going out does feel good. It's kind of like getting put to sleep for surgery. 
It's really nice. I've never yeah. done that one. Be- underrated. Super Under underrated. Dude, Michael Jackson had it figured out. Yeah. The that fits. every night. Just dude, the just, best. You the don't best. even know what happened, dude. So you're just at the tail end of me having like all my like all my surgeries. I had like twenty something surgeries in a year. You you build a tolerance to propofol, which is what puts you out. Mm. So they have to give you more and more and more. That's why the surgery's so bad. That's for why you. your brain's so messed up. Yeah, that's why I'm half retarded. But there, towards the last few outpatient surgeries that I had, they would give me just enough to get me like kind of sleepy. It's the best feeling ever. Man, I've I've got a story about somebody waking up from. Like during surgery, oh, yeah. I, I'm not gonna say who it is because I feel like they would be embarrassed. This person's very close to me. Sure, sure. But uh, I'm not even gonna say he or she because they. Never mind. I, Them. She. She. Cause sure. That made it obvious. So she uh, she went in to have surgery, and she had to have surgery on her uh, sciatic nerve and her back. Okay. Vertical, right? And they had to like they like if you have sciatic nerve nerve surgery on your back, they don't lay you on your belly. Like they like hoist you up into the air. Whoa! Which is crazy. Whoa! Crazy. That's, yeah, weird. Right? So like the doctor's not working like this. He's like, like skinning a deer. Dude, kind of, kind of. So she's probably. I I would imagine if it's surgery, probably one of these one something like this. Honestly, like but backwards, ass yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. For sciatic nerve surgery wakes up like in the middle of it and the first thing she heard was a doctor say oh shit she's awake they said they've never seen anybody wake up from that much <laughs> like and then they dosed her and she went back to sleep but you know probably that's probably was like terrifying a like, you're in a you're naked in a harness in a room full of surgeons dude and they go oh, be like shit, she's awake like, oh, wait, that's up. horrible there's so. aliens everywhere they're working on you it was hilarious when I had my skin graft done. It was at the Women's and Children's Hospital. It's the only place that had a bed, right, to do that surgery. Day surgery. So Day surgery? Yeah, like, you know, I'm not in the hospital. I just show up and they send me home. Yeah. Right. Okay. The, just, just the ones they do for fun. Yeah, just, you know, like <laughs> the, Recreational. Just the extra odds fun. and ends. They just turned it off while during COVID. You know, so, you know like, they went back to <laughs> So, like, I'm in the room. And, like, I have my, like, pre-surgery, like, well, routine light. kind of figured out <laughs> right you always the anesthesiologist comes in whenever you're in the waiting room yeah. and you always tell them oh i'm nervous <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh i'm nervous so they I'm give really you something nervous. to relax right oh, so man. you can be sitting there and you're on your phone and you're Pro. Man, you, know. you really gave me good advice dude, dude it's it that is if anyone has surgery tell them you're scared <laughs> that is the no if you don't listen to anything listen to that you will it's awesome anyway i'm back there and the the guys asked me like hey do you mind if like a anesthesiology like person in training is in the room with you mm-hmm. and i'm like sure dude come on whatever cuz like i've I'll already take us to this thing yeah because they already they were like hey because like some of the surgeries i had were like kind of weird mm-hmm. so they were like do you mind if we take pictures and videos of during some of this stuff so we can like publish it and i was like sure whatever so, like, I'm used to being like, yeah, whoever wants to come and watch, just come on in. Mm-hmm. Well, the girl is in there, and she's like, we're about to put you to sleep. You want to count back from 10 for me? And I was like, yeah. What well, says so she's, like, freaking out. Well, she, I can tell she's nervous, and I have another story about I was – it. Th- this one wasn't funny in the end. Uh, but she, and I was like, okay. And I'm counting out loud. I'm like, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, and I get to one, and she's like, oh, no. feeling sleepy." I was like, "No, not yet." She's like, "Okay," and she like walks off, and like they're they've transferred me onto the operating table, and they've pulled up the workstation, and how they do a skin graft? There's like a you know like a packing tape thing mm-hmm. that like you pull. That, that it's that but motorized that has razors on it so it can take, so it can take a layer of skin off so they can lay it on to where they're going to grab that's nuts so I'm seeing watching watching that's I mean that's what it is it just oh. takes a little you know Dude. layer so now I'm seeing the contraption and I'm like ah that's not there's no way don't really want to be looking at that right now and they're like putting scalpels out, and they're like drawing on me. Oh, 
And I'm like, hey, boys, I'm up. Like, I'm I'm not sleepy. Really? And they're like, okay. <laughs> so they push some more, and they're like, all right, you're, you're, you're done. It's like, okay. Not sleepy again. Like, I'm still not there. And the girl's like, I'm going to go get somebody real quick to look at this. And I was like, hey, I've had it. Like, you probably have to give me a good bit or whatever. Yeah. And when they finally did it, I did not get to number 10. Like, put me out immediately. And they couldn't wake me up. Ooh, that, now that's scary. And they were like, it was like a long time. That's scary. And that that that's when I was like, oh, this shit's like no joke. But when I was in rehab, okay. Okay. This girl, they were like, uh, Northwest Shoals was doing their like students or whatever to come through, and they were like, hey, you're not 95 years old. Would you let one of these nursing students give you a shot? And I was like, sure. Every day I got a shot in my stomach twice a day, it was like blood thinner or something. The girl come, comes in, and she is tore up, like, nervous. And, like, most of the time, they just, like, swab a little bit, stick, and go. She shaves. My stomach's not hairy. Right. She's uh, just, she's, like, stalling, just, like. But she shaves my whole stomach. Maybe he needs a haircut. Yeah, and then swabs my whole stomach. And, like, her hands are shaky. And, like, she pulls the thing off. And before she can get to me, I, like, scream out. Oh no! Dude. Come on, come on! Nice. Thinking it would be funny, <laughs> she starts crying. Oh no! And bro. then she's trying to help people. And you're out you're here right, just, just ruining her day. Her dude. Down. Ow. And she oh. leaves crying. And then her, the nursing teacher comes in. And was like, "Why are you being an asshole?" And I was like, <laughs> "I was like, I'm sorry." And then the girl came back in. I was like, "I'm sorry. Like, I did not think it would go over that bad." She that? And she was like, "It's okay. I'm just nervous. I've never given someone a shot before." And I was like, "Oh, damn. I'm sorry." Did it go well? Otherwise, yeah. The, the second time she did okay. The second time. Yeah, but the first time, and this is not a joke. She, whenever she pulled her hand back, she squeezed it out. So, like, the medicine, like, went in the air. And she's like, hey, whatever. Y'all ever, like, man, I don't really think they give dogs real shots. Because, like, what do you mean? Are they just lie? Shot, like, people, like, they're very like particular about where they put. Oh yeah, they you just be. Seen, they just pull the skin up and stick it in. I, that's not real. Dude, they're like cows. You ever seen somebody give a? And they use the same needle, so it's, you know it's dull as shit. They're just like <laughs> stabbing these cows in the ass and just going. Dude, yeah. I I can like give myself shots now. Oh, dude, for real? Yeah, pretty pretty proud of that. Okay. I can take pills without drinking. Like oh, I'm, yeah. I'm taking like you know, oh yeah. Like an or something. I just swallow that thing. Take it, eat oh, sand. Yeah. I bet I can eat sand without water. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah, taking pills without water, I feel like that's becoming a man. Yeah. Take oh, four dude. Advil just to the early. dome. That's better yeah. back in a trailer, dude. Dude. Uh, when my parents were just like, you need water? No. 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 Because Advil name name brand yeah. has the sugar coating on it. Really? Really? You can, you can take your time. It's sweet. I just start Take them for fun. Yeah, just dude. I did. I I bought like a, uh, like a special shampoo or whatever. Okay. I had like really dry scalp. scalp or whatever, and like apparently head and shoulders is bad for you. So I bought this special shampoo about a year ago. Okay. And it came with like gummies, like hair care gummies. You know, I forget what it's like, biotin or whatever. The gummies tasted so good, I ate them all in a day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your hair must, your hair, your hair must have been just so shiny. The but dude, day. they were no like the best tasting gummies I've ever. Like, not vitamin gummies. Like uh, gummies, period. How many melatonin gummies have you eaten? In if one they city? sold like Flintstone gummies, like without the vitamins. Oh yeah, they're all like hot dog. Dude, they're but, good. Because like normal gummies are fine. Like I'm not a like I'm a sour gummy worm guy. But I'm not like a fruit gummy guy. But these had like a sweet. It wasn't sour coated, but it was like coated in something sweet. And like, it came in the mail. So I'm like, well, try this little gummy real quick. Yeah, it's warm. And then like, nice warm gummy. Dude, by the end of the day, I was just walking by where I had it sitting. I was like, nah, four more ain't gonna hurt. Yeah. <laughs> like by the end of the day, I was like, damn, I only got like ten left. Might as well go ahead and finish these off. Oh my god. 
Do you, how many? I, my question again: How many melatonin gummies have you eaten in one sitting? Four. I mean, like thirteen. I went crazy one night. Did I was like, I'm up? going to sleep. I woke up pretty easy. Melatonin is weird to me because I can take like six milligrams one night and like fall out dead mm-hmm. and like wake up groggy. And then sometimes I can take like twelve milligrams and go 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 to war yeah. and like not be sleepy at all. It's like it's hit or miss on whether it really works on me sometimes. Do you think it's like if you actually want to go to sleep? But that's not how that should work. Yeah. Benadryl? You give me three Benadryl, I don't care if I'm driving on the highway. We're going to go to sleep. Don't say the hat man. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I owe the hat man money at that, <laughs> at that very moment. Yeah. But like if you give me melatonin, even if I want to go to sleep, sometimes it's just like, we're just not going to go to bed. It's like only half of them in there actually have like the, the active agent or whatever. Yeah. Just enough to make you... Maybe a lie. It. So a, lie. a guy I work with used to work at like a, a medicinal plant or whatever. They made certain pills or whatever. And like that's a job, right? Like yeah. somebody has to put the ingredients in the vat so to mix them up. Yeah. And that guy's an idiot. Mm. So like whenever I heard him say that he used to work at a place like that, I'm like, oh... There's probably a lot of human error. And, like, over-the-counter drugs. Did he get fired? No, he's just stupid. Like, not a very smart guy. Okay, okay. But, like... But he just stopped working there because he didn't want to? Yeah, he got a different job or whatever. Okay. But, like, I think about that guy, and I'm like, oh, over-the-counter medicines are probably made by people similar to him. That are, that are messing up. Yeah, so, like... And he, he, he used to say stuff. all the time that he was like, oh, I would forget entire bags of ingredients. Like entire like thirty pound sacks that I'm supposed to put in this thing. Gosh. Yeah, you, yeah. I guess you think like so those thirteen. Oh, some scientists cooked this up in a lab. But that's no, only, but that's only the OG. Like that's the only the first one. After that, you got some, Did you know, no nothing. You know, a guy that's reading off a piece of paper us. that I need three of the green bags, <laughs> two of the red bags, and one of the white bags in this vat. <laughs> and he's gonna mess that up. Yeah, and it's yeah. and he's on his twelfth hour of work, and he's wanting to get out, and, and like he's like, the red ones. and he's like, oh, I've only got one red bag here, and I'm not walking across this place to go get another bag. This is gonna be a little weak. <laughs> three loaves of milk, two jugs of bread. Work. Yeah, that would low key be a fun job. Yeah, I mean, you could put anything in there. Yeah, just super spike and then Advil. It's like, yeah. this one pill is 900 milligrams. Of- <laughs> Y'all ever... Ruin people's livers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just blow up people's livers? <laughs> Y'all talking about these precious resources? I, we were we were talking about a place with that super tight security that we delivered to at work. Like, they were saying that if you could sneak in a water bo- bottle and fill it with, like, some of the chemicals they have in there or some of the resources they have in there, they're like, you can make Dude, is that a BASF? Yes, it is BASF. We deliver to them. Yeah, that's hey, that was nice right there. Thank that you. That was nice. Thank you. Wow. They wait, have a wait. y'all ever just like want to steal for like I don't want to steal for <laughs> half the money, but I want to steal because I want to plot like I I want to play the game of deception, but like I don't even care to have like like it's not the. It's not the the prize I want. No, it's the it's it, it's the gut. It's the gut feeling of ooh um ooh I've got it. I just pulled it over. It, on these it's videos. the it's the scheme of yes. like, look how I did this. Yes. Look how clever I am. Yeah. Like I I want to make a Netflix give it back. documentary out of it. I should I should go be one of those people who uh, steals to test security systems. Uh, that, I bet that's ooh, such a that would job. be a fun job. Like you legally get to like steal from people, but but ooh, or steal from the company that way you can like too. That'd be so see the <sighs> see the holes, and then you get to give it back, and you're like you're clean. These Dude, are the holes in your jujitsu game. I would get so into character. I would have a different identity, Never and like really, yeah. Burn the prints, white steal van, from Target. Garfield lasagna would be my. Oh man, yeah. dude. Garfield was on your first and last name. Dude, I dated a girl. Jim's in cybersecurity. That's right close to the same thing, kind of, I guess. I don't know. No. I mean, maybe. Oh, I want physical items. I want to run oh. out with the yeah. I want to run out with the gold bars. I want to buy yeah. I want to steal a PS5. Big, big old <laughs> big old bag with a money sign. Yes, on me wearing a mask that just covers my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I dated a girl once for like a few years and her mom was like a kleptomaniac or whatever Uh-oh. and would just like 
couldn't what, hold what down that a job. Exactly? That's you're like addicted to stealing. Oh. But like couldn't hold a job. Like she worked at like a tanning salon. And They're just stealing people's skin. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dang. <laughs> Not only is she addicted to stealing, she's also a murderer, murderer a serial <laughs> killer. More important. But she would like if she worked at like a salon, she would just steal like forty bottles of shampoo. <laughs> oh, just because she could. Yeah, and like just and like it's almost like she couldn't help it. Like it's an addiction. It, it it's like <laughs> compulsive. <laughs> Those people were up there, so I had to go conquer, conquer them. Why did I have to go conquer them? They were up there. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, why yeah, yeah. When they're up there, you why know what we, I mean? Why do we climb why? a mountain? That's John F. Kennedy right there, dude. It's there, man. It was there. Dude, that's... But, like, I've always thought, like, I used to steal from Walmart and, like, books a million and stuff. Yeah. Dude, the game... Are you stealing books? No, see, dude, so this was the you game. Know, so, sorry, that's really, that was like, looks a million. What? So, th- this is, this is the game. They got a million of them. They don't need any more. You would go into Books a Million, go to the CDs. Yeah. You would see where the cameras were. You'd take the CD with you. You'd open it up, take the CD right. out. Look. No, you just take the CD out. Oh. Slide it in the... Or slide See, it in I'm not putting it in a book and buy a book just to be more clever. In the pocket, right? Yeah, and then you put the CD case like back. Flex. Yeah. yeah. And then somebody buys an empty CD. Man. So it's 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 a it's a prank on a corporation and a person. <laughs> so somebody out there bought Someone's a CD case. case. Yeah. extra destruction extra in your way. Dude, but I used to do that all the time. Yeah. Like I stole so many CDs. I feel like I should have stole more when I was a child when I could get away with it. Dude, I, uh, you ever feel I like stole that? some Yu Gi Oh cards when I was about eleven. Oh, dude. See, at that age, you feel bad about it. Yeah. Whenever you're seventeen, it's fun. <laughs> dude, I stole, <laughs> I, I stole a cartwheel. I stole this one kid's a jacket. Wheel? I stole this one kid's jacket. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Come back. You stole what? No, not a car, a, a car wheel. Wait, what is it? A tire? No. A Hot Wheels? A Hot Wheels, sorry. I thought you said cartwheel at first. I was like, how the fuck? Like, how are you <laughs> doing <laughs> that? I stole this motherfucker's <laughs> shadow. <laughs> oh, Jeez. no, no. And I stole this kid's uh, jacket. He was on the bus. He was sitting right next to it. Man. Dude was so it, dumb. I was. <laughs> Look over there. Stole it. <laughs> What's up, brothers? Yeah. <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, was I, still, I, I, dude, I stole that. Dude, I got away with that for a long time. I was wearing it around school, too. Dude, I maybe we need to bring back stealing menial items. We need to have like, stealing as a game, like some type of game out of stealing. Like some type of item that you're supposed to I don't know. We might, we might cause a Walmart to shut down. Dude, you know like the... They're bluffing. They won't ever do anything. They keep saying no, they will. They're that not going to do anything. That is a lie. I don't know. I know. That's not so, true. There's one in like they're just Chicago or something, mouth, right? They ain't never going to do that. I, I know a person. I won't say... <laughs> Who single-handedly shut down a Walmart. No, or so their daughter mm. was in a self-checkout. And scanned items, and it was like, hey, this thing's acting weird. Like, the items weren't showing up when she was scanning, but the total was there, but it wasn't showing. Mm -hmm. And she was like, hey, can y'all come look at this or whatever? They're like, oh, yeah, this one's been, like, this shouldn't be shut down, but we'll we'll just let you keep going. They swipe, put in the card or, or, or whatever. She pays for her stuff, leaves. Because one thing didn't ring up, they snatched her up and... Like took her to jail on the spot. No way. Over like he think it, he's I forget the total. He said it was like a twenty five dollar item. Took her to jail. Wow. Crazy. He had to go bail her out of jail, and then was like, "What are we doing here?" Right. Mm. And then there he was like, "Let me see like the security footage," and they're like, "Oh, it does. We don't have it." No. No way. No, no way. They don't have it. That's so, a lot. So and he was like. But it's always like you're on the TV, you can see yourself, and they're like, "Yeah, but it's not recording at the time." And so, like now, he's going to sue this Walmart. Has he done it? He's Has he in, sued him? in the process, but they like dropped it as soon as he was like, "Okay, what exactly did she steal?" And then why did you? She asked you for help. Why did that not get figured out? And I want to see the footage. And they're like, "Oh, well, we're going to drop the charges." He was like, but no, like now her mug shot's out. Like, yeah. You can't just. No, you started it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're going to finish it. Man, I appreciate when I. Like, I appreciate somebody else's cleverness whenever I get hit with a unique security measure. 
this is not a unique Ooh. security me- this isn't a unique security measure but like I was buying some like tubs like some bins to like put some stuff in storage okay and like they came over when I was buying them and they opened them up to see if I put stuff in there and I was like dude people are buying just <laughs> imagine buying like six dollar like plastic bins and just filling them with stuff wow dude. and just buying the bin and the leak like I'm sure somebody plenty of people like anything that's a container that you can buy you can put stuff in it and then buy the container and then if nobody opens it like stuff like that I'm like man that was good I bought five five gallon buckets from Lowe's three days ago you could did they not check no wow missed opportunity right but they were all stacked up together yeah okay yeah well but I mean one one five but I did buy a roll of duct tape Slip that in the second and third one. Stack them. I mean, there's there's always ways. And I've all, I always think too. I have walked out of stores with merchandise on accident. No, oh. stealing. Oh, uh, but <laughs> walked through those things that are supposed to beep when you. Yeah. And they didn't beep. Yeah. That was always the biggest rush. Yeah. It's like <laughs> I'm about to walk through these things right yeah. here. And I got this thing Let's in my pocket. People see the beeps. Because you got a Faraday cage around your neck. The 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 Walgreens on the belt line. Uh-huh. I go in there don't, to Don't fuck don't mess up the Walgreens on the belt no, line. No, no, I go no, there. No, I go no, there. No, no, no. no, I'm just kidding. You're acting on his target. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> in there and steal. Dude, I've been casing that place for a while now. What Dude, every time I buy, I only go in there to buy one thing. Tide pods, because they roll a special on them. Okay. Right? Yeah. Every time I buy Tide Pods, the things at the door always beep. And me and the girl, it's the same girl every time. I always do the thing where it's like, stick my head in the door. Mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah, yeah, you're good. But why is it beeping when I buy them, but I can steal things from another place and it doesn't beep? Well, I thought you were going to say, create a routine of her seeing you with Tide Pods and it beeping. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I thought you were going you there something. as well. Whoa. This is the infinite glitch right here. You yeah. just found it. Like, who was it that... Uh, Oh no! This is some stupid video. The guy who uh, puts stolen stuff in everybody's basket. Oh and they yeah. Try to leave all. Of them oh yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. He, like, yeah. he like buys a piece of gum and has yeah. like a soup. Have you seen, have you seen the dude yeah. is just like, what's a number between one and ten? And they give her give her a number. You just want these AirPods. Yeah, it's AirPods. Oh, <laughs> no, dude, that was yeah, that was so bad. <laughs> like, it's like the grandma. They start walking out. Beep, 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 beep. No, that was. That was, that was too far. Here are these AirPods. She thought man. she won some AirPods, <laughs> and she got, like, probably harassed Dude, by that some is so dogs. funny. It's so good. They would old, never believe her It's story. always old people, man. That was evil. Dude, that is the number one thing. Like, this, I watch shoplifting videos, or, like, <laughs> or people, like, shoplift maxing. Like no, <laughs> no, but like people getting caught, uh, like in like uh, freaking uh, out, like those yeah, like yeah, yeah. YouTube is like, and it's always titled like top five insane Karens caught shoplifting, and it's like a forty five minute long video. Yeah. That is how I decompress from my day. Oh, yeah. I go get food and sit in front of the TV and watch grown women lose their minds getting arrested, I, I, I and like that's probably good. not good. Do you, do you but watch it, those videos about those teachers that uh, get drunk and go to, go to class? Also very good. I, I watched one last week yeah. where the girl they were like, "Hey, are you drunk?" Yeah. And she's like, "I drank last night." Yeah. And they're like, "Yeah, but you were fine this morning, and now you're acting weird." And she was like, "No," and she wouldn't answer any questions and she wouldn't blow in anything and she, they were like okay we're like you're fired yeah. and we can't let you drive so you're gonna have to call someone to come get you or we're gonna take you to jail she was like okay well my phone's in my room can I go get my phone uh-huh. they're like no you're not gonna go in your room so the cop comes back in he's like what's in this cup uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, she was yeah. like that's my juice and he was like this is wine <laughs> and she was like did you drink any of it cause that would be weird and he was like, no, but I can smell it. She goes, let me smell it. She's like, okay. She goes, that's juice. And then everyone in the room is like, smell this. And they're like, that's wine. Yeah. And she was like, it's not wine, though. She was like, drink it then. They're like, we can't drink it. She was like, well, it's juice. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Next level she can't even drink it all, but like, what wine? Yeah, she's like, what wine? <laughs> yeah. Just no. drinks it all right then and there. It gets I- all over her clothes. 
y'all ever watch the videos of like cops who are going to go like stop a criminal but it's like I mean it's crime but it's like it's barely crime like I love watching like it was like these two cops and they're going to go stop this lady who's been shoplifting like everywhere she's stolen a couple hundred dollars worth but like they're acting the way they are hyping it up is like it is the biggest buck the biggest yeah the biggest yeah like this is it this is my career's work and it's like some lady who stole like two hundred dollars worth of clothes. I I love because they're they're on the hunt. Oh, that's good <laughs> it, it, it's go stop her, but like, dude, y'all are documenting this. Yeah, and like making it seem like it's real badass that you're going to do yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna pose with her like they did the bag of fit. <laughs> like they got her cuffed up, dude. We got her, boys. Crazy. Just trying to feed her family. <laughs> Man, I've been thinking. I wanted to run this by you specifically. Okay. Okay. Come okay. On. Come okay. On. Come on. This, yeah, this about thing. like you know alternate career options. Sure. No. I think it would be really fun to be like a dog catcher, like animal control. It would be fun until you get bit. If I had the right equipment, like if I had, I thought you got bit in the face, dude. Yeah, I did. I, I As a kid, you're from it. Yeah. Oh, uh, you, this like is your. Said, I was throwing bread, bread off the top step. Thought I had more. He, or he, he thought I, had it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I, mean? I did. I did. He thought I was hiding it under my face. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's part Just of the game. To rip through. But uh, but no, like if I had like the right equipment, like I don't think there's an animal that could hurt me. Like if I had the right, like you give me snake chaps, like I've got like some thick gloves, some sticks with stuff on them. You know, whatever kind of tools come with the job. Like I feel like I could like really handle any animal. I think I have a job that you would love. Okay. I met a guy, and this is his full-time job. He goes to plants around the country mm. with a super BB gun and shoots pigeons. No, no way. Hey, what? This is a <laughs> this. I saw this with my own eye. Pigeon he, deleter. So he come, he comes out, and this is a like a Canadian BB gun that is like like can shoot like forever away. Yeah. Like state of the art scope, like. Are they Night like vision. Everywhere? Like, I don't, yeah, like so you don't want them like yeah. They're like, paying this guy salaries. What I'm wondering. the plant. So like he is contracted by, 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 by like this place, and they send him to plants. He shot like 200 pigeons in my unit. Wow. In one, and it was like That's an hour, awesome. and he would just post up, and he was like, "All right, yep, yeah, one." Is he clipping this? Like he can make content. Yeah, dude, I, I don't. Money. You probably couldn't because inside the plant, like all the stuff is like proprietary or yeah. whatever. Okay. But like. He told me his biggest night ever in a refinery in Louisiana, he shot 600 pigeons in a 12-hour shift. Man, there was, a, there was a book written on, like, the pursuit of happiness, like, trying to find, like, what person with what specific job, like, who is the happiest person? And this guy went on, the, like, a journey to see, like, is it somebody who works 80 hours a week and is making tons of money? Is it somebody who's bumming out? Like, is that just a happier way to live? Is it somebody with... And he said it was some, like, Asian man who, like, had a shotgun, had a big, like, farmland, and, like, he just was killing these rats or rabbits or whatever they were. Some some pest. Just had a bunch of dogs. And he would just go out there and go to war with those things every day. And, like... He said he was the happiest guy he had ever seen. I'm not necessarily trying to kill animals. I just like the challenge of this dog thinks it can beat me. I think you catching know, an animal saying? is a more humane thing. It, it's also, to me, kind of more like... Exciting. Uh, yeah, like the the prospect of catching an animal is like, oh, here's a challenge. Like Anybody can shoot pigeons. Oh, yeah. But like, I've got to... Catch the chicken. I've got like, to that's wrestle the... this dog. Yeah. Like, dude. Sounds I'm, good to me. I'm so excited. See, you're. Th- I'm thinking of oh, nets. Man on the dog. N- hey, nets, traps, snares. Like I'm. I'm trying to get creative here. I would have so much fun. See, I'm trying to get into like the cowboy game. So I might be helping Ooh. a guy that I work with like take care of his cow soon. Ooh. And I might get Ooh. it to be like a real rodeo type dude. Mm-hmm. Learn how to like rope a calf. Oh. That would be. Anytime you need help with that, dude. Don't like, give up my job. The idea of going to work and you have to wear chaps and spurs. Sick. See, that's the thing about them. Sick. Like cowboy hats, boots, like, like wearing the gun on your side. It's all cool, but it's only ever cool if you need it. 
If you're just wearing it, to me, it, it really don't. You're like, like cosplaying you as a yes, yes, yes. It's like I would totally like have a sword and a sheath and learn the sword if there was ever, ever. If there was a moment that I needed, there's a sword. no point for me to ever have a sword in my life. If there was, I would so be about it. Oh yeah, that's I'd be, also. I'd be a sword nerd. Like, that's who learns swords these days. It's like learning Latin. It's a dead language. Yeah. But like, and it's also of like the guys like I'm down to like conceal carry. Yeah, but are you gonna conceal carry a sword? <laughs> Maybe. I always do every day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like a pocket knife, but like the guys that open carry. Yeah. Like in a Walmart. Suddenly I'm anti-gun. Yeah. Suddenly I'm. We don't need a, a second amendment. But, like, if you're a concealed carrying just for your own, you know, because you think you need to, very cool. I like it. But you have a revolver on your hip in a leather holster in a Publix. <laughs> then I'm like, what are we, like, what are we that, doing? That is, I like it. that is two steps away from, like, just straight up sword and sheath. Yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> in a Publix. I don't see how you could get away with sword and sheath, but you could have a gun for sure. Revolver in a leather holster, like man, you better be a cowboy. Like you better be shooting snakes with that thing. Otherwise, like come on, dog. It is the same, the same aura around that is like wanting to grab a cop's gun at a traffic stop. If I walk by you in the bread aisle and you have a revolver on your hip, I want to lunge at that weapon. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, like and like it's that's the, like that that is the thing to me. And I know I can take it. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna play with it. Yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna like You're gonna take it, you're gonna shoot like some waters at Publix. I'm not even gonna shoot it. I'm gonna like scratch my head with it or something stupid. <laughs> yeah. Like that's you want someone to be like Wouldn't that be a great way to like commit suicide? <laughs> you see a dude at Publix with a gun out? And just change his life head. forever. I'm gonna change your life forever in this bread aisle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. That is. I don't know if you were there the other day. I was telling the story. I was in Nashville, and they have the cops on the like on the horse or whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> and those. That's almost the same thing. That, that and that's that, that, that that's kind of what I'm getting at. It's like there's the cop. In the old vehicle, there, there's there's the cop in the brand new Charger, then there's the cop in like the Ford Escape, and then there's the motorcycle cop, and then there's the scooter cop, and then there's the bicycle cop, hey, and the then way, there's will, the horse cop. I will never. No, I put horse above bicycle. Maybe I will, looks too as dumb. a man, as a man, I will never let a cop on a bicycle. Yeah, <laughs> like, anything else is fine. Like, yeah. But you're you're not gonna talk to me bicycle. crossways on a bicycle. Dude, I could yeah. stick my Wanna finger beach. in the spoke and, and make ru- you fall. ruin both of our days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the guy was on on horseback, and I'm pretty tight at, yeah. at this point. Yeah. And I keep on saying louder and louder, I'm gonna slap this horse on the ass. <laughs> like I keep on saying it until he finally like pulls the horse around. He's like, no, 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 uh-uh, no. Stop. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, what would happen if I slapped the horse on the ass? And he was like, you'd go to jail. And I was like, no, no, you wouldn't. You, he'd run that way. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I can't slap a horse on the ass. And you'd be like, it would be like you bothering a police car. And I was like, if I slapped a police car on the bumper, that's the same thing. And he was like, don't, don't touch this horse. <laughs> And the fact that you have to tell a man in twenty twenty it was twenty twenty three at the time <laughs> to not to not bother your cop horse. It's like what are we doing? Crazy. Also, I've never s I want to see a cop on horseback in action. You're it's on never in action. I, I, I've seen it happen one time. What? I've seen it happen one time. And it was a some type of something that got loose, like some animal of like a moose or something, and they like like, which that was probably a Canadian range. Did you see this in person or is this uh, on Instagram? Instagram Reels, I'm okay. sure. Okay, well, that's cool too. But like, my thing is, if you're in a, but is he gonna do that to me? That's like, is he that, gonna that, me? That's what I'm getting at. It's if, like if, if he is honestly, kudos. That's pretty good. If you if we are in a oh, suburban yeah. setting, yeah, and I take off running, and you are 
on horseback. I know I'm not faster than that horse. You can maneuver. But I don't think you're catching me. Because you think you about... get off the horse. Yeah, you have to tie your horse to a pole. Yeah, you're dude, you're going to start chasing me, and your horse is going to be like, running you're over be chasing Now we've got a horse. wild horse on the loose. Which would be the... Do they have sirens? Wee, 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 wee. If you put like a siren on a horse's head, then I would pull over. <laughs> like then I'd, I'd be like, you know what? That's you're funny. right. You're That's right. You can't argue with that. Yeah. Dude. But like the, I wonder if I've, I've Dude, thought this they, too. Who keeps the police horses? Where do they keep them? They gotta they, keep them at a Is stable. there a stable at the police? They station? probably have no. an office. <laughs> yeah. you the the horse is behind a table. No, or whatever. Who, is, who is keeping the police horses? That's that's what I want to know. I've, 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 and I've also thought too. Are these guys that have horse experience that are like, let me be the horse cop, yeah. or are they oh. or are they like this nineteen year old who just joined the force? Like you know how to ride a horse? <laughs> no, you got to learn how to ride a horse <laughs> because you're going to be on one next week. <laughs> Somebody takes my car to that horse. Like I don't know. Because you know you're being disrespected. Like, you, somebody hands you a horse, you're being disrespected. Because like, just, I get to ride a horse all day now. That's kind of, I mean... But dude, talk about a chapped ass, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> like, also, if, if, if we have cop horses, they should be able to sniff cars. You know how hilarious it would be to like you know how they sniff like the dogs that sniff no. to have a horse in the back seat of your truck and then you get out a horse and make it print like high step around the yeah. car to see if there's drugs in it. We we, we should have that. It, That's probable cause. What would yeah. be the next police animal? We've got police dogs. We've got police horses for some reason. Police rat. Uh, any, police any other use? pigeons with C4, C4 connected to them. Yeah, I feel like police hawks would be crazy. Oh, dude. <laughs> you send a hawk you've into a trap hawk, house. You've seen the hawk people? Yeah, they can like sick them on a squirrel. Be like, hey. I see the, the squirrel. I, I see the cop get him. Hey, they're going to outside there. Get him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, my boy. Shit, sure, lift his ass. Shit, sure, make a mad noise, though. That with the uniform on, he's probably got his state trooper hat like sitting like this. What's up? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. got the hawk glove. <laughs> bruh, bruh, bruh. He comes at you with a hawk. You, you open your window, last is rich, it's rich. The hawk just dives in your Camry, yeah. and he's just he pulls out the license and registration. He knows where it is, dude. I will say though, I got a ticket from a state trooper look, a couple months ago. I cannot respect a man wearing that dumbass hat. <laughs> Dude, like, if, if they would wear it more, normal, but the way they wear it, you, like, they wear it like this. And it's, you're, it's have you, do, do you know the movie? It was like Scary Movie Three. Do you know what I'm talking yeah. about? The scene where the state trooper woman, it keeps on cutting between her and Charlie Sheen, and the hat keeps getting bigger and yes. bigger yeah, and absolutely. bigger until it can't fit in the front seat. <laughs> Number one. That makes me like belly laugh every time, and I've seen it a hundred times. But that's every time I see a state trooper, I always it's imagine the hat to be like four times as big, and I'm like, "You're a clown!" You like see you're wearing super troopers. No, oh, for real? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Never mind. You're, you're in the minority. I've seen a uh, Reno nine one one. So like super troopers, they would do a thing where like the cop, like it would be two of them doing like a dual pull over, and they were like messing with people because they're like highway patrol and like. One cop would like bet the other one. Like, I bet you can't say meow ten times. Like, during this. Like, <laughs> he's like, sir, do you think this is funny, right, meow? Like, just, just like, getting on them worse and worse, but, like, just trying to yeah. sneak them in there. Yeah. Like, that that's kind of what I think they might be doing when they pull me over and they've got that, that cursed tilt. Like, j- just wear it right. Have yeah. I mean, yeah. That's how that's how angry they are. I've also th- I think it's funny whenever cops wear cowboy hats. Mm. Like that's a choice. You don't have to wear that cowboy hat. But, you can. but like I know you're like you think this is tombstone. <laughs> like you think like you think you're about to have like a cool shootout. Mm-hmm. Also, what do you think about the people that have the blue flat the blue line flag stickers? That are not cops. Oh, like they're just supporting mean? cops. Yeah, I think you need to get the boot out of your mouth. Mm. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. Yeah, like I don't, I don't think that's cool. In fact, I will make fun of you. I, the, the cop I'm giving the pass. Did you see that one about the? He was like, gremlin gang. One last message to the gremlins. 
You don't like the things I've told you tonight? I got one thing to say. I'm easy to find. Oh, that's Gremlin just, Gang. That's, that's like, Louisiana comp. That's different. Like, I'm easy to find. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. All, but. You're oh. trying to find. Young man, I'll meet you on solid ground anytime, anywhere, light or heavy. Makes no difference to me. You won't walk away. He, uh, dude, for, forget his cop ability. That guy can cut a promo. Like, you, <laughs> see, the WWE needs that's to why promo. we are using the resources <laughs> incorrectly. He needs to be a Jim Cornette esque yeah. figure yes. Yes. cutting heel promos. You need that guy recruiting people to be cops. That's what you need. Yeah, so it's not former shortstops that can can barely write their name. Mm. Yeah. Dude, I know, like, people that I graduated with, I know three cops. Every one of them played infield. Like, like Thank second you. or short. Thank you. I what does that mean? Never, does that mean that they're stupid? I've never, huh? It's just a personality type. Uh, if you play shortstop, there's a 90% chance you're just insufferable. <laughs> That's like fact. You, I mean, yeah, dude, you're the best guy on the team. But, like, you can't even hit. Like, you just... No, no, no. You're, you're really good at... You can do some of... Uh, like, it's I don't real. Know. What you're doing It's here. real life. They're, dude, they're, they're putting their hands up and down. It's like... It, the camera stopped with Wendigo. They almost look like a conductor. You know, it's, it, just, it's it's a lot of extra movement because your job's not that hard. You're Mr. Hollywood. Like, you're sliding when you don't need Sunshine. You know? Yeah. Are they holding him? Are they, are, they, are, they, are they that guy? The guy who's... No, no, okay, no. Okay, okay, okay. No. They're not... No. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out which also, one they Also, one thing I want to do is bring back third base signals... But for everyday scenarios, I want to be able to see you across the room and go. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey! That would be you, tough, so, dude. That guy, I love that. That's see, the best yeah. thing I've heard you say. See, see, I'm, I'm so down. For you're that. in. So you're in. Because that the subtle. That's your blue. Because right the there. the best thing about signals like that. Yeah. Is you you only need like this is like he's pulling out his ear. Yeah, it's like this could be like, hey, I want to leave. If like we're in a party, I want to leave. But all of this is just filler. Yeah, just you to don't throw, want him to pick up the signals. Exactly. So <laughs> if and like also, it's important to have signals that mean nothing. Yeah. Until I touch my nose, nothing matters. Yeah. So I can be hitting you with. As soon as I touch. Yeah. Then you know, hey, it's time to go. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't Y'all have to Irish say Irish goodbye. Dude, no, we didn't no have to words. say a word. Nobody's reading that. I mean Dude. That's that's what we gotta come up with. Dude, I, I wanna bring back Let's Irish goodbyes at family gatherings. Dude, there's nothing more fun than a Irish goodbye at like when the hang's just gone too long. Yeah. It's four hours in, like right it's now. late. Right now. Yeah. Like me eleven forty five. Me Did you go. know that? Do you know it was 11.45? Is it really? Yes. Dude, that would be... <laughs> he's, he's gone. <laughs> All right. We're not going to say goodbye. Bye. Look at you. Men like us, son, we do dumbbell presses with weights bigger than you.